Super Mario yeah. Galaxy! Welcome, everyone. I guess, I mean, I technically welcomed you guys like a year ago, but... Welcome, everyone, to Let's Play... S well, actually, it's a secret. Mm. Welcome to Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy, Episode 8. Yeah, you can go away. See you, Mario. What about the inhabitants of that planet, huh? What about them? I... No. Um... Sure... I don't want to see my stupid face ever again, so... So yeah, this uh, series came out at uh, just about the same um, time as uh, Skyward Sword. As in, probably even down to the day. Every hundred years, a comet appears in the skies above the Mushroom Kingdom. Oh, I thought it was timed. The comet was so large one year, it filled the skies and sent countless shooting stars raining down. Little toadette. <coughs> the toads brought the shooting stars to the castle, where they became a great power star. It would have been a very happy time for the citizens of the Mushroom Kingdom. That was the night of the Star Festival, held once every hundred years to celebrate the comet. Hi, right, Peach. Ooh, voice acting? No toadstool. This Mario thing he's gonna get. A little bit more than a cake. Can I? Nope. Okay. Evening, Mario! Do I still have the voice? I think I still do. Mario, you are the last guest to arrive. Glad you can make it. <clears throat> oh, yes, sir, here. Time to party. Star Festival starting! Yahoo! Hey, but I'm the one who's supposed to be uh... Yeah, you're yeah, here! Hey, Mario! See this star bit I have? Grab as many as you can! <coughs> Welcome to the Mushroom Kingdom! The guy who lives here. To pick up star bits, star bits, point your Wii remote and move them over with your icon counter, whatever. <coughs> Are you collecting star bits, star bits? Hey, they have both the starboard icon and the starboard. Hey, it's just the best. La 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 la. Eh, they're just about the same. Hey, castle's just on the bath. You can't miss it. Am I doing an acceptable toad? Mario, you made it. Where does this even originate from? Isn't it like N64 card or something like that? These starbit things look like candy, but they're actually starbits. They're so sparkly. <clears throat> I think it's probably the only video I'm doing today. Minus the two. Uh, RuneScape ones. Everyone's giving me all the starbit starbits again! Fine, I'll stop. Not with a toe voice, but just saying starbit starbits. Yaza, just look at those starbit things! Yay, starbits! Isn't this stop it the shiniest you've ever seen? Yeah, I've seen better. I think that one's better. Princess Peach is waiting for you at the castle! Whoa, whoa! Well, I mean, it is literally that voice, I guess. So, or, same time. He means to you! Well. Sure, nothing can go wrong. But yeah, uh, below 20, so I'm starting this over again. Uh, 
Okay, now they're just getting trapped in crystals now. I think Bowser stepped up his plans. But who's that jumping toad? Uh, presumably it's Bowser. I mean, we played this intro before, so... Is that actually just a statue, or...? Also, I think after this, Peach is going to install some air defense systems. Now there he is. Princess Peach, you are formally invited to the creation of my new galaxy. This festival's over. I know, is that acceptable, Bowser? And then he's just got a UFO for some reason. It's Bowser! Right, the princess, I'll uh, send guard here. Oh, what should we do? So are they like, uh, I guess in stasis? They have to be. How could this happen? This happens every other week. Hey, the princess! Not that I've really played any other Mario games technically on the channel. Oh no! Definitely not Super Mario Bros. 3. Mm. Alright, Bowser! Maybe not that. Surprisingly, this doesn't hurt my voice. Oh, what should we do? I lose much of that Susana voice. Oh, he's trapped in that crystal thing! So, actually, why are we able to shoot Starbits at this point? This vessel is ruins! There you come, everyone! Hey, at least the Starbits are still falling. This is this way! I just do our Can I actually get hit? Yes. Can I game over here? It's Peach's voice. Are oh, you in my happy place? Try not to panic. Just up ahead. I'm just gonna stand here, though. Gotta follow the... I guess this is your... Try not to get hit thing. Well, they did not expect me to actually just follow the path. Uh, we have to stay civil. Stay calm in these dimensions. Uh, calmly walk towards the exit. Yeah, he just has a laser cutter, um... UFO. Or whatever. <coughs> Isn't that thing still connected to the ground, though? Like, they just cut, um, like... a cylinder, right? I mean, I guess it's kind of breaking away. Those don't look that taut. Well, now they do. Hey, it's a good thing we made it in time, though. See? Following the path makes everything good. How the earth below it is not crumbling, I don't know. Also, this place is a really thin atmosphere. Mario! Hey, Kamek. So long, enjoy your flight! By the power of PlayStation. So, 
Upsi. Did we quite obviously land on the planet, though? I guess downward is... it's like destiny, I guess. Oh, it's a rabbit. Finally, you're awake! Let's play! Oh, that's what we're doing right now. I uh, guess what? I forgot to write down the time that we started. Let's say one, uh, roughly. It should be easy. Yeah, it's not a great start, though. Come on, jump with A! Triple jump. I guess no triple jump. There we go, <laughs> into the pit of death. Let's play hide and seek. If you catch all of us, we'll tell you about where you are. So this game looks pretty good, doesn't it, for like being 2006? <coughs> no, stop it. I'm coming for you. Oh, it's like picking music. That kind of works. Gotcha. You caught me! Ah, I knew I should have sit in the crater. Long crater, apparently. Oh. Oh, that's not a crater at all. Thankfully, we have space magic. So, really, this place doesn't make any sense. How does it have an atmosphere? You caught me. Oh, if only it's in the pipe. Oh, yeah, and the pipe was making some suspicious sounds, so. Wait, how do you hide in a pipe? How do you just, like... Do you actually have to physically crawl? I guess? You must have. What if I'm having this tro much trouble catching these bunnies? I can't believe I let myself get caught. I don't know. They need different voices, don't they? Up high house. Oh, you caught all of us? Maybe you really can help Mama. And space magic erects a, um, I don't know, viewpoint. Sorry about bringing you here so suddenly. We should probably tell you where you are. There's a connection here to deep space far away from your lands. We call it the Gateway to the Starry Sky. Mama's waiting up above. Please help her with whatever she asks. As soon as Mama asks. Hmm. Are you Mama? Star speech. Star peach. I've been watching you from here. This place is called the Gateway to the Starry Sky. My name is Rosalina. Have you noticed that Nintendo really likes using Rosalina for stuff even though she's only in two... Really just this game and a tiny bit in two. Uh, spoilers, I guess. I'll watch over and protect the cosmos. But wait, I should probably mention... So... <clears throat> I have never really played this game, uh, ever really. <coughs> like bits and pieces. I have be, uh, played and gotten to World 7 and Super Mario Galaxy 2 when that came out, so back in like 2010-ish. But um, I have not, and I don't really, really remember that much of Super Mario. I've seen 
Super Luigi Galaxy from Trigger Conway. And I do plan on doing a Super Luigi Galaxy playthrough after this. Consent, you know. Yeah, I'm just gonna, um, once we do the ending of Super Mario Galaxy or whatever, then we switch to Super Luigi Galaxy and continue from the numberation. Because I like seeing big numbers on my channel. <coughs> I can't get it through subscribers or views, and I'm gonna get it through, um, videos, I guess. Yeah, so most of this is basically brand new, and I have seen the full Luigi Galaxy thing or whatever. But that's been like eight years at this point. So if you're special one, you'll need the power to travel through space. We got a ship right for you. That's a tiny ship. Luma can give you this power. I will entrust you with his care. But you're a statue. We've been possessed. We need to spin now. Shake we mount. We're ready to punch. Sasser struck us just as it has visited you. With Luma, I hope you can rescue the Grand Star Grand Stars. The stars shine down on you. And she's dead. She was dead the entire time. Just like our chances. Shake Wemo to spin into things that look breakable. You can even spin enemies to send them. Does not look breakable, but... Yeah, that's it. See, this is his own sip of galaxy, right? Hi there, good to see you. I have some bad news though. See, I had a launch star all ready for you, but I mean, I smashed it up. Can't leave without it, so find all the star chips to fix it. Oh, be sure not to fall into the black hole. There's just a black hole in the middle of this planet. None of this ma uh, Something tells me. Believe it or not, but I don't. Yep. Yeah. One additional Mario. It's kind of a weird way to put it. Ooh, almost right in there. Yeah, this place is constantly getting hit by meteorites. Who tells me I should be worried about the structural integrity of this place? Yeah, so those little Goombas, or aren't they like called like like chestnut things or something? Chestnut Bros. Like I think Super Mario World doesn't actually have uh, Goombas and has like something else. Barely. Let's kill them. No. But yeah, kick enemies to get star bits. Get me out of here! One of those enemies should have the key. You can shake Wemo to spin them around, make them dizzy once the sun just went into them. Wait, didn't I kill everything? No. Yeah, so these are Goombas. Great. That's a good start. Thanks! Would you mind rescuing my buddy in that base up there, too? No more a sling star and jump into me after I transform! Is that painful to them? Yeah, so jump on enemies to get coins, and coins heal you in this game. <coughs> Spin enemies! Then run into them when they stun to boot them! Just a boat. If you take damage, grab a coin to boost your life. Yeah, try it. Oh, that's a big one. And you can ground pound. It tells me we're gonna have to make this react. Now. The strongest kick you ever did see. Hopefully not get electrocuted. It tells me that's going to happen a lot. Hurry! Down here! Ooh. 
This is a bit of an odd perspective. We've been waiting for you. We've come, we've come to kill you. This is a Grand Star. We have to save it. Yeah. Using Grand Star to power that awful machine. It looks like it's making something. There's something for the Grand Star's power is drained. We have to find a way to stop that terrible machine. Save the Grand Star before it's too late. Oh, wait. Oh, are we at... Oh, because the uh, machine's active. It looks like it's draining the star's power in order to make a star. Turn off the flip switches on the floor and shut down this machine. Shouldn't just one flip switch being off actually, like, turn it all the way off? That should do it. That thing just disappears. Speaking of disappearing... Thank you, and I go save the Grand Star. Where are you, the Grand Star? Oh, I left the Goomba. Oh, is this thing actually correctly reflected? It looks like it might actually be... reflective. Correctly. You know, unlike a bunch of sniper scopes in ga various games of the aren't. Well, so I think I mentioned this before in like the tiny bit of the game before, but <coughs> oh yeah, by the way, this isn't, there isn't going to be like me trying to beat the game as fast as possible since this, you know, I now do my own slot and don't have the grind anymore as a separate slot. I'm just gonna beat the entire game, and I'm gonna make sure to get it at all the stars that I can, as early as I can. Just say I like this so much better than the face star, uh, face ship. What am I doing here? Gateway Galaxy. Can we can go back? Can we go back to it? Oh, high score. Wait, an entire new galaxy? Wouldn't that be an entire, like, system or... Not even a system. A planetoid? The beacon is lit again. It shines weakly, maybe only as bright as a class 6 star. At least the poor Lumens will survive now. Oh. Thank you for saving the Grand Star. These star people are my family. They mean so much to me. Welcome to the Comet Observatory. It is my, it's my home and also home to the Lumas. You see, we travel the starry skies. We pass by this area once every 100 years, but we suddenly stopped in front of this planet. Strange force had latched onto our ship, no way starbits and our power source, power stars. She had lost power, so it entered a deep hibernation state in which it could not move. Those who took your special one picked up the power stars. Discover the power to cross the universe. Please. Oh, geez, please. I have a request. This observatory uses star power to project images of the galaxies that are scattered across space. How powerful is this thing? And there's a chance we can use our few remaining stars to look for other power stars. These run rooms are called domes. We observe galaxies from domes such as these. The only one that is working now, powered by the star power you restored, is this one, the Terrace. Please go to the Terrace and try to recover the power stars from the galaxies you can see from there. If we do that, we'll be able to restore the Commodore Observatory's power ability to fly like a starship. Then perhaps we can pursue the thieves who ran off with the power stars. I don't really understand what any of this is going on. But anyways... That's going to be it for this episode, though, so if you enjoyed this video, you know what to do. See you!